Hello everyone, welcome to Market Insights. Foreign investors, they have been the elusive category in the past uh, few years. They have been the net sellers. And not only that, they are trying to stay away from the market as a whole. In the Colombo Stock Exchange, can we still survive and thrive without the foreign investor category? Or do we need them to come back? We need for the foreign investors to come back. As you rightly said, the last two years, uh, foreigners have been net sellers. Last year we had about over 60 billion rupees gone out. Uh, this I think about 52 billion, and this year another already about 20 billion has gone out. The net foreign outflow. Uh, few reasons are there. Uh, one is again as I said, uh, they had this fear about this uh, default, the country default, and the rating agencies putting us down. That's one. The second thing was the after the COVID situation, there were a lot of redemptions in their funds. So it's not only related to Sri Lanka, the whole region, I think there were not a lot of uh, foreign selling was taking place. So if you see in the short term, yes, they have sold, but I'm, I'm sure that they will get back once the proper the currency also settles down. Uh, they can see the market, the liquidity has gone up. Earlier our liquidity also was not there in the market. So slowly, gradually that is uh, happening. Uh, you can see more listed companies are coming. So. Uh, most of the numbers are looking great, so I'm sure the foreigners are going to get come back in a much bigger way than before. So we'll, very soon we might write off all the, the all the outflow which went out. We'll get into positive maybe another six months or one year's time. Do we have to wait till the currency to depreciate even further for foreigners to come back? I don't currency? think so. Even for foreigners, for big funds, the government has given a guaranteed, uh, uh, I think at whatever the rate they bring in, for next three years if they keep the money, uh, that that can be taken back at the same rate. So even the big funds, there is no uh, risk actually in that. But the smaller funds, maybe they, are, they waited for the depreciation. But if they wait too long, I think they're going to lose out more on the more than the depreciation in the capital gains in the market. If you see within the last one year, uh, our index was about 4,200, 4,300 last year May. Now it has it went up to about 9,000. Now we are around again 7,200, 7,300 levels. Uh, so if you see 100 to about 100 to 200 percent easily, most lots of stocks have gone up. So I think they lost out a lot. Uh, so hopefully, I think before it's too late, they're going to come back and realize. So that means we don't have to wait too long for them to come back, and that will be another positive uh, definitely and, to the market. Yeah. So that the locals have carried through without the foreigners, uh, whatever the, they have absorbed all that because they know the valuation is good and they have the, the trust and the belief in the companies and the economy here. So I feel uh, for a while, another five, six months, we can go through without a problem. But definitely they will come at a premium, they'll have to pay and come back into the market soon.